in the world would ever know that there would be an undercover kitty. Well, he, there was an undercover kitty, and he worked for the police department. Yes, his name was Fred, and he was a beautiful tabby kitty who worked as he was a domestic short hair, and he worked with the New York City and the Brooklyn police. He was very involved with busting a guy in 2006 who was posing as a veterinarian who had no veterans, a veterinarian license, and no training to help animals. That was terrible. So, Fred was born May of 2005, and he was originally a, a rescue kitty. Absolutely precious, originally a stray. He was rescued by the Animal Care and Control of New York City. And then he was adopted by the Assistant DA, District Attorney Carol Mon. He was nursed back to health by her, and his sibling named George was also adopted at that time. They were named after the famous Harry Potter characters Fred and George. And... Very unfortunately, Fred the Kitty didn't live super long. He only lived until August of 2006. But George is still alive and doing well. And I kind of hate to reflect on the fact that that's the idea that, that happened in the novel as well, for those of you who know the Harry Potter series. Yes, So, but in February of 2006... Fred was enlisted by the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office as an undercover kitty. Yeah, they got, they apprehended on February of the 3rd, a Stephen Vassal who had been acting like he was a vet and he wasn't. And then this kitty, Fred, he had awards. On May the 18th of 2006, Fred was presented with a Law Enforcement Appreciation Award by the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office. He was honored later on July the 8th of 2006 at Broadway Banks 8, which is an Adopt a Dog and Cat Benefit Program, hosted by Mary Tyler Moore and Bernie at Peters. He was given the Mayor's Alliance Award. He was being trained to work as a therapy cat. I think that's really cool. That would, that's a wonderful thing for him to do after his undercover stint. Yes, he had training as, as a therapy animal. And after that, he was already being brought around to classrooms to teach children how to treat and how to care for animals. They had lots of offers as well for sports and TV's commercials. Well, you guys, how many people do you know who've only lived that amount of time who've done so much? Yeah, he did an awful lot in his year and a half. Nephew isn't too much older than him. This little darling here is 18 months old. Yes. Well, it's just so amazing to learn how many precious ways that cats have been involved with our lives. And I have a big love for that little guy. Yes, and I have a big love for you. Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching this video. And I want to take a moment to thank several of our YouTubers that I'm coming into touch with. There's several of you that that take care of strays and feed them every day. I just want to express my appreciation and thanks to you for that. Well, thank you everybody as well for supporting this channel. Please consider sharing this video and others like this so that others can learn more about kitties too. Yes, I think it's really good for our society to learn more about them and to learn to recognize just how special they really are. Yes, if you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those paws and paw that like button. You can paw the subscription button and you can paw the notification bells so that you can see all of Nuffy Cat's videos. <laughs> well, thank you all so very much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next.
next. <laughs>